welcome to Too Late. I'm Adam Carolla. Tonight's guest is going to be the Yin Yang Twins. Yeah. Uh, before we get started, a little piece of personal business. Uh, when I was coming out to the studio tonight, I uh, was leaving my house. I was looking through the mail, and I got that slip from the dentist that tells you it's time to clean the teeth. But it's always the same one. It's uh, Mr. Toothbrush, and he's chasing Mrs. Mouth. And I realize every one of these warning cards about the teeth cleaning is geared toward retarded six-year-olds. <laughs> and I thought, I'm 41 and only semi-retarded. How about one that just says, hey, it's time to clean your damn teeth? <laughs> like, like, here's what I'm saying. The kid never sees the warning thing. The parent does. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, then, and then the other, the other part of it is I started thinking to myself, what other facet of life works this way? It's like, uh, I own a home, I have a mortgage, but I don't get a thing in the mail every month with a picture of a house crossing its arms. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. House is angry, I have to the mortgage. All right, uh, let's get started. In the international news, the government is warning the terrorists may start posing as homeless people to conduct surveillance. And, uh, yeah, there he is. Uh, I have a plan that's going to stop this and just solve a lot of crime in general. Uh, let's start giving homeless people cop uniforms. <laughs> Imagine the police presence. Cops everywhere. Park filled with cops all, all around the same trash can, warming their hands. It would, it'd take a little getting used to, like, like the first time, like you'd run over, like, uh, officer, my daughter was abducted. No, I don't have any change. <laughs> I, I don't smoke. No, I don't, I don't have cigarettes. My daughter. <laughs> like, hey, that cop is throwing up in his shopping cart, everybody. <laughs> My other plan for the homeless is to uh, put them to work on our uh, Olympic bobsled team. <laughs> now, just hear me out. We get our ass kicked by those damn Germans every year. Here's the deal. I've seen homeless guys towing a wagon train of shopping carts up Laurel Canyon, <laughs> passing cars. These people pull like mules. <laughs> it's, it's no hobby to them. It's a way of life. You understand? Every step they take is like trying to jumpstart a car. <laughs> or is it bump start? <laughs> we'll clean it up in post. Anyway, in uh, celebrity news, Johnny Depp honored Hunter S. Thompson with his... Uh, Hunter's wishes were to have his uh, ashes shot into the sky in a fireworks display earlier this week. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, there it is. That... Uh, that green thing is like Hunter S. Thompson's soul. I think I saw part of his foot coming out of like a Piccolo Pete on the right. But here's the thing, no matter, I, I like the idea that they, they honor the guy's wishes. And no matter who, how kooky your wishes are, they have to honor it. And I like that about dying. It's really the only part I like about dying. Like, you want to get cremated in your Dodger uniform, they have to do it. You want to, some kooky old lady, you want to be buried in your Rolls Royce, they have to do it. My wife knows that after I go, I need my ashes scattered over Bob's classy lady in Van Nuys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's going to laugh when she says uh, so here's the deal. So people always say what they want, but what they don't do is say what they don't want. And that's more important because otherwise you end up like a poor old Fred Astaire who spent his whole life not doing commercials. And then 10 minutes after he kicks off, his family does this to him. The amazing Dirt Devil boom back sweeps and picks up yeah. dirt in one easy motion. Yeah. <laughs> Said dry humping a mop. <laughs> Awesome. And poor, poor Ginger Rogers, who got cut out of the whole thing, was uh, replaced by a vacuum broom. That's got to be tough on the career. And uh, listen, here's, here's the thing. Uh, God knows what's in store for me after I go. I mean, I'm already doing this crap while I'm alive. This is Adam Carolla. You know, Valentine's Day is right around the corner. I hope you're not thinking about giving her the same old, same old. Don't panic. Here's three words you need to remember. Vermont, 
teddy bear. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's when I'm alive. Imagine what my family's going to do to me when I'm dead. Oh, yeah. What's up? If my dad had cable, he would be watching this going, uh, honey, grab a scratch pad. Adam just gave me a great idea. He thought it was a joke. He doesn't know just how unfunny that's going to end up being. All right. Uh, it is uh, time to uh, take some phone calls. Who's on the blower? Who is on the blower? Marissa, 21, from uh, Boca Raton, Florida. Marissa? Yeah. Hey, Adam, how are you? Good. I want to know, why do you think we have not found Osama bin Laden? Hmm. Uh, I, I got this weird thing. Uh, I, I was thinking about it. I think he probably died already out in, in you know, the, uh, the wasteland somewhere and had his people just, like, cremate him so we'd never get the satisfaction of finding a guy. Like, I'm not so sure he's alive. I know this isn't funny. And it's not provocative, <laughs> and it's not interesting, but it's certainly a time killer. <laughs> no, I, 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 I mean, not everything's comedy, as you now found out, but I, I was just thinking about it. Like, the guy had a bunch of diseases. He was probably going to be just, you know, picked apart by uh, buzzards and dung beetles anyway. <laughs> Why not just chomp down on the cyanide cat tablet and have his, you know, ashes uh, scattered over Bob's classy lady, I guess is... <laughs> I guess is what I'm saying. So I bet he's dead. Okay. All right, I'll baby. Take it. See you later. Bye. Yeah. Maybe maybe he'll uh, end up in a dustbuster commercial though in a few years. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's uh, keep going and speak to uh, Brad from uh, Marquette, Michigan. Brad. Hey, Adam. What's up? Not much. All righty then. Let's. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So uh, how would you like to be remembered? Well, I, I, I've been uh, giving it some thought, and as you know, if you listen to the radio, I'm trying to get this whole thing where I, uh, I mean, I, I was thinking maybe I'll write a Christmas song, or maybe I'll, uh, I'll save uh, some, some people from, hot, from terrorists or something, but then I thought, you know, uh, that uh, pool game, Marco Polo? Yeah, yeah, just, you know, Marco Polo. I think we need to replace that with Adam Carolla, and that would be a great legacy for me. because all that other crap just goes away. But every summer, I mean, Marco Polo's been dead for 900 years. We're still playing that crappy pool game with his name on it, right? Yeah. It is right. Adam. Corolla. Adam. Corolla. Fish out of water! <laughs> I'm going to scream like a maniac every once in a while. All right. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. The uh, yin-yang twins are here tonight. We'll be right back after this. If you want to talk to Adam, call 1-866-HEY-ADAM. And be sure to check out upcoming comments at ComedyCentral.com. It's too late. You know, in my ongoing quest to break down barriers and bridge the racial divide, tonight I'm going to prove that there's no truth to ethnic stereotypes. And we're going to have a little fun along the way. It's a little game I like to call the Wheel of Ethnic Stereotypes. <laughs> All right, so here's basically how it works. I don't believe that there's any difference in any human beings. I don't see stereotypes. I don't see colors. Uh, my staff beg to differ. Uh, so I challenged them. I challenged them. You pick out like uh, eight very popular ethnicities and then whatever stereotypes you think go along with those ethnicities, I will put them on here and prove that they will apply to any one of these ethnicities. So let's, let's just get started. Now, this first one. Uh, this is uh, Big Noses, Cheap, Runs Hollywood. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's funny about that. I, I feel it could certainly apply to anything on this wheel. I, so I'm just going to prove my point, give it a spin, and you'll see what I'm talking about.
you see? You see? It doesn't work. It just, there's no, it's, 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 it's a round peg going into a square hole. It just, 12.5% chance that it landed on, on that, everybody. Let's just keep moving here. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? Oh, okay. Here, here's the other one. Casino dependent, drunk all the time, alcoholics. That, that's redundant. They already said drunk. It's like saying drunk twice. I don't, I don't, I don't know what that could be. Let's, let's keep moving forward. Oh, now here's one. Here's one that's really offensive to me, and it could apply to anyone. Huge penis, loves to tap dance, yells at movie screens. <laughs> Okay, uh, hold on. I'm, I'm going to give this thing a spin. I think, I think this is good. I, I think the wheel will bear me out just like it did with the other one. What did it land on? Yeah, Jew. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> ethnicity on this wheel. All right, let's keep, let's keep going here. Let's see. What do we got? Rides camels, <laughs> throw rocks at Jews, smells like goats. Let's give it a whip. <laughs> you see, it all comes into focus. <laughs> there we are. Oh, in between. All right, let's keep going. Uh, loves NASCAR. Uh, lives in trailer park, serial killer. You realize how silly all these stereotypes are when I break out the wheel, am I right? What do we got here? I don't, I don't, I don't think you should be clapping. I, I'm confused. All right, let's just... Let's hop right to the uh, last one here and see what we have. Uh, drives a low rider, hangs out in the Home Depot parking lot, <laughs> finds Virgin Mary in tortillas. <laughs> well, could be any of these. I, let's give it a spin, just show you how crazy these stereotypes are. <laughs> sees the Virgin Mary in a tortilla more than the Middle Eastern folks. I, I think this one was right on, I gotta, I gotta say. All right, well, I think I've proven my point, have I not? And I've made the world a little better place and a little more tolerant, thanks to the wheel of ethnic stereotypes. Thank you. We'll be uh, right back with the Yin Yang Twins after this. weekend for the VMAs where they're nominated for best rap video. Please welcome D-Rock and Kane and Yank Quinn. Uh, I, I had a bunch of questions for you guys, but uh, you know, I was talking about my dentist earlier in the show and I, I couldn't help but uh, notice the hood ornaments you have for teeth. How does that work? Does it just get stuck onto your tooth? Uh, yeah, you might well say it. As much as I have it on, it's stuck on me. <laughs> it, it, is it, is it, is it, uh, are those real diamonds? So no. Uh, really? I, I wouldn't have no cubes of cone in my mouth. <laughs> but, but here's the thing, like, if you got a Rolex and a guy pulls it. <laughs> Too <shy. laughs> Very clever. <laughs> uh, I'm saying is, you have a Rolex. A guy, a, a guy pulls a gun on you. He says, "Take the Rolex off." You take it off. 
you hand it to him, but if he wants your teeth, that's going to be painful. You know well, what I'm saying? No, he got to go through security first. Oh, okay. Yeah, you don't wear all this jewelry and don't have security. Right, right. You can't, yeah, you got yeah, too they much break in, They break in your house. I know they'll touch you if you're by yourself. Right. So you guys, you guys got like posse, a bunch of guys you went nah, to high nah. school with that are. I got, uh, I got. First off, I got God on my side. All right. So you know, I, yeah. I already got one person. All right, but hold on. Let me tell you about God. He's he's tough sometimes. Cause I, I thought he was on my side a while ago too. Hey, <laughs> hey so hold on. Your parents tough the same way too. Yeah, but I, I'm saying maybe the guy who's robbing you has God well, so, on his so, side. So what you say when your parents get on you sometimes? Oh man, I really don't pretty much like my parents. All right. Well, I didn't understand what you're saying. Yeah, right? you got lost. Well, listen, let me, let me tell you something. Uh, if I had all that junk in my mouth, you couldn't understand one damn word I was ever saying. You can uh, understand me clearly? I understand you clearly, yeah. yeah. I don't think you're going to get a job as an auctioneer. No. But I understand you clearly. Yeah, no, I don't even want to get that kind of job. No, that's, that would suck. Then I have a boss man. Oh. Yeah, yeah, no, you don't have any boss. Uh, no, got to be your own boss, boss. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You want to uh, take some questions from the audience, see if they uh, have any questions that are probably less insulting than the ones I've been asking you? Uh, <laughs> uh, Let's talk to you. Ah, the honk. That's yeah. what I like. Uh. That's good. <laughs> You know, Jimmy Kimmel has a honk, too, but it comes out of his ass. Uh, yeah. Uh, Much worse than this honk. Uh, Horrible honk. Uh, yeah. You honk, I don't run. Yeah. He honks, I do a shoulder roll through uh, the sliding glass door to the yard. All right. Uh, someone in the audience, is Chris out there from Boston? Does Chris have a question for us? Oh, there he is. Oh, from Boston. What a shock with the Red Sox shirt. What's up, guys? How you doing? What's up? Hey, can you guys tell them what crunk juice is? I don't know what that's all about. Crunk juice. Crunk juice is a um, energy drink that they came about with, with the whole movement of the crunk music yeah. coming around with Lil John being. It's Lil John energy drink. You know, him and yeah. uh, him and Mr. Crunk. Yeah. I'm yeah. Mr. Crunk. But, uh, white guys from Boston aren't supposed it's to know what the crunk juice is. Right? Hey, <laughs> hey, just start with questioning that. All your stores, what you go to, say, hey, man, y'all need to get some crunk juice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Y'all need to get some crunk juice. It tastes like Kool-Aid. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's going to be a disaster. Yeah. Just uh, stick with Go socks. Yeah. Uh, is Megan out there from uh, Winnipeg? Woo. Megan? Uh, oh, Megan. yeah, Winnipeg's awesome. Uh, We're over Megan? here. Where? Oh, there you are. Yeah. Uh -oh. What's happening? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, me and my friends here, we were just wondering um, if you guys were single. <laughs> if we're single. And if you guys go for Canadian women. Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Are you single? Uh, no, I have kids. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't stop you from getting laid once. <laughs> uh, I mean, you, you have kids, you know, yeah. you still... You know what I'm saying? You guys are, you get your rap stars. Of course you yeah. got kids, but you bang chicks from Winnipeg. Uh, no. No? No, my kids are in Atlanta. Your kids are in Atlanta? Yeah, I know, yeah. you're in L.A. She's in L.A. Yeah. I know it. Uh -huh. so, so you're married? You're married? No, I ain't married. Not married? No. Nah. But you have kids. But you have a girlfriend. Huh. Yeah, 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 I got oh, Okay, so you can't, you can't do any of this stuff because she may be watching this. Huh? Who knows? Right. Hey. Smart. Smart. <laughs> smart. All right. Who's smart? I know. I'm, I'm very smart. No, that's what I was saying. I know it. All right. All right. Uh, we're going to uh, take a break. I'm going to find out who your orthodontist is and get myself uh, hooked up with some of that stuff. The United States of Atlanta in stores now are one's the name of the Yin Yang's uh, CD. And uh, good luck at the VMAs, guys. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> Uh, just this much time worth of show left. Uh, I want to thank the Yin Yang Twins for coming out here tonight. And uh, now it's time for a little segment called So What Have We Learned? What have we learned? 
Yes. Well, we've learned that uh, white guys from Boston don't need to know what the crunk juice is. <laughs> we've uh, learned that uh, when I go, the ashes are going over Bob's classy lady in Van Nuys. And we've learned that all Arabs see the Virgin Mary in tortillas. Thank you, and good night.